All right, here's our cell that we made. As you can see, there's a nice little step inside for the lens to rest against. Now, we've already went through the layout procedure and got all our measurements for the scope tubing, so now it's time to put it together and finish assembly. So what we're going to do is take our lens, which is right here, and we're going to take a look at it, try to find out which side the bevel is. On the higher powers, the bevel isn't that great, so you can take it and flip it over a couple times, and it's pretty good like that. So this side that's counterboard is the side that'll be inside the scope. This is the this is the objective lens, so this will be on the front of the tube, and the side that's board will be away, and it makes gives it a nice clean look that way. There's also a small small groove we've placed in here that it will be for locating your screws so that you're not drilling into your lens or anything so we'll take our lens and since it's really nice and slide right down to the bottom do a little tap to make sure it's down there and then we take our our little sleeve that we've made that's all cleaned up and ready to go and I'll sit right on top of that Push it in with our fingers, get a good start on it so it's nice and flat. And it's not tipping anyway. And what I do is I, I made a little, like a little drive pin, just out of scrap brass. That's why it's not real long. And it's just enough to set right on top and inside. And I'm going to tap it in, but I'm using just the weight of the hammer itself. I'm not putting any force on it because I want to go nice and slow. Okay, and we'll have a few taps, take it and take a look at it. And there's still a little gap in between the lens and the and the and the sleeve, and that's good. You want that. What you do is you shake it a little bit, take a look at it, and it gives you an idea of how much farther you have to tap it down. So I know I have to go just a little more. And you don't want to tap too hard. You can take a chance on Fracturing the lens, taking chips out, cracking it in half. You just want it enough so when you shake it, it shouldn't rattle. That still has a little rattle in it, so we're going to go a little more. Okay, and we're going to shake it again. Still got a little bit. Take your time with this. It's nothing to rush about. You don't want to damage anything. There we go. No, no rattling. I'm going to tap it on my finger here a little bit, make sure it's centered and it hasn't like twisted. Everything's nice and flush and it's not moving. And there it is. So, now that we have this in, there's a small little lip on the inside where your sleeve and the counterboard part touch. And that little lip there is where we're going to put a little dab of Loctite on and just kind of work it around a little bit to get it all the way around evenly. One nice even coat all the way around. So we'll take our Loctite. Okay. And real gentle, like we're going to put it right in this corner. And just a little dab. You don't need much. If, what I do is I take a pick. And I kind of pull it around. Just helps it move along a little bit. I'm trying to keep it down towards the bottom there. So it all builds up right in that edge. Now, if you get a little bit over this, a little bit going down towards the lens, just take your pick and rub it back out. It's okay if it gets on that a little bit. It's not going to hurt anything. You just don't want it to run down and touch the lens. That's that's the bad part. So, put a little more in. We'll do this until it goes all the way around. You don't want to put too much in. A little bit at a time and. And once I get it all the way around here, almost there. Hey, there's the end. Now what I'll do is I'll take it, set it upright, let it set over overnight, like the lock try, the lock type dry up real nice. And I have one I've already completed, and if you can see it. It's already got a nice ring of Loctite, and what I do is I take a Q-tip, 
and the spots where it, where it got on this on the sleeve a little bit I'll take it and I just rub them real gentle like with a q-tip just to clean them up eh, just more of aesthetics but it looks nice when it's done there you have it all put together let it sit a couple days you know even if you're doing work on if you're doing the work the next day you're still fine but just let it set up real good and it won't move at all